The latest manufactured outrage from the Democrats comes from the Justice Department again. This is the bureaucracy that seems more adept at producing scandal than justice. These are the people that cooked up a phony investigation of the 2016 Trump campaign on false pretenses, that lied to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, that withheld evidence, that tortured Michael Flynn, and that had to demote, fire, or otherwise get rid of several high-level officials because they did something inappropriate, if not downright illegal. Now, four career Justice Department attorneys are screaming bloody murder because higher-ups rejected their recommendation to throw the book at Roger Stone, a one-time Trump advisor who was caught up in the Mueller dragnet. Stone, 67 years old, never convicted of a crime, was convicted of supposedly lying to Congress. Now, never mind that what the investigators were looking for, the Russia hoax investigation, never happened, and they knew it by the time they got around to talking to Roger Stone, and never mind that most people outside of the Beltway don't even think lying to Congress is a crime. I mean, Congress lies to us all the time, and turnabout is fair play, isn't it? While President Trump champions criminal justice reform, revising sentencing guidelines to end overly harsh prison terms, the Democrats want blood from a stone. Why, this is the party that refuses to deport criminal illegal aliens and even wants to spend tax dollars to bring back the ones who've already been deported. What a great idea. Meanwhile, Nancy Pelosi says Attorney General Barr should be investigated for rejecting the nine-year prison term for Roger Stone. But in her hometown of San Francisco, Democrat politicians refuse to prosecute a host of crimes, including assault on a police officer. Selective enforcement of the law and selective outrage is business as usual for Democrats. But I tell you, their version of criminal justice is very short on justice and nothing short of criminal.